what is the situation on black money which was overseas? Because that was a big com campaign promise and everybody hoped it would happen. Yeah. Why hasn't the new government done something? But I think they, both the Attorney General and the Finance Minister uh, felt that we have to go through a certain procedure, which I don't agree with. In fact, the Prime Minister asked me, what, how would you do it? So I've sent him four different ways it can be done. Uh, and not the way they want to go through by bilateral negotiations and so on. Uh, I don't think that'll work. Well, the first example is of the Germans. Mm. Uh, Merkel uh, found out that her officials are having bank accounts in the Liechtenstein Bank and asked the Liechtenstein government to hand it over, their records. They refused, saying this is our business and we can't do it. So then she, uh, her government bribed the senior most uh, financial officer of the bank and got the entire thing downloaded. <laughs> uh, and they found that uh, 22 countries, nationals were having secret bank accounts mm. in Liechtenstein Bank. India must be one of them. And India was one of them. And so she wrote to all of them. And every country except India wrote saying that please send the, uh, the, the, the CD to us the, uh, or the uh, DVD uh, to us. And then we had to go to the Supreme Court. I and Jet Malani had gone and filed a case, which is still pending in the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court directed that those names be procured. Those, that, that, uh, uh, that envelope has still not been opened the, with the names. That's, uh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. And uh, can that be pushed through some freedom of information? Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. But it'll come. Now it'll, because the, I believe the Attorney General is resigned, so. Good news. Uh, yeah, and now, very often in these matters, the Prime Minister is taking direct charge. So I think it's, it's going to come. The other, second way, there are other ways also. Uh, one is the United Nations Resolution on uh, a Convention on Corruption in 2005. It says, if a country, formally by legislation, announces that it is nationalizing the accounts of all its citizens who have accounts in certain uh, money laundering or uh, secret banking uh, countries like, uh, you know, there are 70 of them. Right, right. Uh, then the United Nations will ensure that these countries comply and hand over the entire bank account, money, names, details, everything. So we need to pass a law right. in the thing and uh, we don't have majority just now, but by April we'll have. So I, I see that also a very effective way of doing it and can be done. And uh, there's, of course, the American way where they went and asked the Washington branch of the Union Bank of Switzerland to hand over the names. They refused, so they arrested the <laughs> local officials. Yeah, I, ha I have, uh, I used to many years ago, huh. I had, when I was in business, I had an account with Swiss Bank. Huh. And a very senior guy was the in charge of huh. my account. Huh. Uh, here in New York, a very legit bank. It's a very prestigious bank yeah, yeah, in the you, you investment banking. To it, yeah. And uh, you know, because India, they think that having a Swiss bank is something illegal, but in the United States, they have branches in New York, San yeah, Francisco. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just have to disclose it. That's right. And then they're just like any other bank. Right. Uh, suddenly, uh, I got a call that uh, this very senior guy is uh, not is not available anymore, and uh, some other guy is going to be meeting you. Oh. So I wondered what's happening. Mm. Later I found out he was thrown in jail by the FBI. <laughs> so some other guy had replaced him. <laughs> so they found out that he was doing all kind of, hang he was violating some US banking right. laws. Yeah, yeah. On some technicality they got him. That's right. Uh, so uh, he was taking deposits of investors like me. Yeah. Overnight. Yes. Loaning it for himself. <laughs> so so uh, uh, at 5 p.m. when the bank closes. Yes. It's still daylight somewhere else. Right. The money would be gone. Right. Next morning by nine o'clock it would be That's back. Right. So you'll never miss it. That's right. And he would loan, loan it overnight some other market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for all the investors and yeah. keep the uh, interest for himself. That's so right. they caught him when UBS and uh, Swiss Bank merged. That's they right. did an audit uh -huh. and these auditors caught this thing happening. Okay. So this fellow was doing it. So on oh. that pretext they threw him in jail. Yeah. And then they said we'll throw all your guys in jail. That's right. And now the leverage is you yes. have to give us all the banking secrets. That's right. So that, they, that's what I'm talking about. They got all the banking secrets of all yeah, the yeah, Americans yeah, yeah, and so yeah, the Americans got in, yeah. those Americans who were doing it without that's disclosing got in trouble. Right. 
So this is what the Indian government has to do. Has to do, yes, yeah. absolutely. This is, we also now have branches of, say, Credit Suisse and... Uh, uh, when they open business. a branch in India, it's good because then you have some leverage over them. That's when right. they are doing legit business, That's it's right. fine. That's they're bringing right. investments yeah. or whatever they're doing. I'm sure that uh, this black money will come back yeah, now that a, the decks have been deal. cleared.